Hi there folks, welcome along to today's screencast on SQL Server Codename Denali. My name's Peter Ward and I'm the Chief Technical Architect for Wardy IT Solutions. In today's screencast we're going to have a look at one of the new features inside of SQL Server Management Studio that allows us to go and delete the connection history inside of the connection dialog box inside of Management Studio. Now one of the things about being a consultant is working with many different sites. The problem with that though is often that I have redundant server names inside of my connection dialog box. So for example a server might be retired and is no longer there and as a result it's still sitting in there in my history. Now look there's a number of different hacks that we can use in order to do that but none of them are typically supported at the moment. But if I want to go and remove a server name inside of the connection dialog box in Denali all I need to do is I need to open the drop down box so I need to just click on the server name you'll see that I then highlight the server that I want to remove so for example the Wardy IT SQL 01 box I simply just hit the delete key and that's now been removed from my connection inside of my SQL Server Management Studio so make sure you stay tuned for more screencasts on some of the new features inside of SQL Server Denali